time is coming to life here at the Magic Theater. If you and your family are fans of Eric Carl, you are in for a treat. Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's the Hungry Caterpillar. You must be hungry, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I got you covered, don't worry. Go ahead, take a bite. We are getting a sneak peek. Oh, we better hurry. We better hurry. He's hungry. Let's go. Look at that. He's lighting up. Okay, this is the coolest day. Stop. Are you hungry? What an exciting show. Thank you for having me today. Thank you for being here. And let's talk about the excitement that you get from the kids in the audience. Well, there are four books that, mm -hmm. that actually are being represented, and all of them are being represented with the puppets. And for all of us moms who have read this book thousands of times, being in the audience and watching the kids' faces and their enjoyment when the animals, the characters, just jump off of the page, mm -hmm. just like in his books, because we have read it with all kinds of, of sound effects ourselves as yes. parents or as, as people who take care of kids. But then Caterpillar, when you see him, him and how excited he gets and gets into his story and eating his food. It's really fun to watch the kids and they know the story and they yell it with you and they tell you what's coming next. It's a lot of fun. So you get to, you as the director, you are also in charge of the choreography. What are some of the challenges with that? Well, I think one of the challenges is, you know, a lot of times people think of puppets as just things and puppets are not things. Puppets are people too. They're real <laughs> characters. And so getting these hi, getting these <laughs> characters to come to life is mm -hmm. where Kat was really helpful in making this show happen and getting our puppeteers who you saw were so talented. Yes, they are. And just having them come to life. It's all the vocalizations that you do as an actor. Mm -hmm. So basically you're taking the character that you would do as a human being and putting it into the puppet mm -hmm. because they each have their own personality and character. And there's 75, is that there's right? There's 75, now that includes the food because wow. puppetry is animating something that is inanimate. <laughs> well, I think what's wonderful about this show is that when John Rockefeller designed the puppets, the show, the script, the, the music, music. Uh -huh. he really used all of these artistic elements to make what a child and parent imagines leap off the page. Yes. And that's why the set is white and the mm. actors are and puppeteers are all in white so that you really get that feeling. And I think that's what's just so delightful. Oh. Well, to have the story come to life and you said there's babies in the audience and they are sticking through the and whole thing. And they're sticking yep. through the whole thing. <laughs> and then after the show, oh my gosh, so much fun. You go into the lobby and some of the puppeteers come out with the puppets Ooh. and you get to meet the puppets. I mean, Whee! what an experience. <laughs> And the show runs from, it's, it's ongoing now through? Through August 6th, I believe, at Magic, and then it opens at the Empire on? August 9th. Okay. So you have that whole week, and tickets still available. Of course, for more information, magictheater.org. That's magic with the K. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Say bye.